Howdy folks, my name is Terry and thank you for tuning in for this week's tutorial video. I'm so glad to be bringing more of these for you. Today we are going to be talking about how to do this weathering technique. I did this on a milk carton, but you can do this on tanks, on buildings, even on armor. It looks fabulous no matter what. All you need to make it happen is some hairspray and some salt. To start, we're going to work on a metallic painted surface. So I did some black primer and dry brushed various kinds of metal on it so you can see how it looks on various types. You can even paint some rust effects on the metal here and then chip it on top and get a kind of rusted effect off the chip without bleeding it onto the paint if you're interested in doing that as well. Now once you have your metallic surface all you need to do is put some hairspray on it. Now you can brush it on uh, or you can spray it on like I have here um, or you can apply it with an airbrush as well. It's really up to you. You want to put on a layer thick enough to hold some salt and depending on what kind of salt you use uh, that's kind of going to depend on how much hairspray you want. You're going to put a decent coat on there though. Now while the hairspray is wet you want to apply the salt. I used some coarse pickling salt. You can use whatever kind of salt you want. If you use a finer salt you'll probably get a finer result on the chips. Uh, with this big coarse chunky salt I got these really big substantial characterful chips. Now you're going to let that dry and once it's dry you're going to paint the color on top of it. You can paint whatever paint you want, whatever color you want. You can airbrush this on, you can even use an aerosol spray on top but I'm just using a brush and putting it on straight. I'm using very thin layers, uh, hence why I'm using a dry brushing technique so it doesn't look chunky and I'm going to do multiple layers if I'm using a brush. We're going to build this up until we're satisfied with the final result. Now here's where the fun part starts. We're going to take a wet coarse brush, you can even use a toothbrush, and start working at the paint. Uh, using q-tips also works as well if you want finer, more controlled uh, removal of the salt and that's what's going to create the chips. You can then also work at the paint a little bit with that coarse brush and it will come off as well. The more water you use, the more force you use, the more paint will come off. The lighter hand you have, the less water you use, the less the paint will come off. I highly recommend you practice this on say a milk carton or some other throwaway piece of plastic or some sprue to kind of get a handle on how this works. That way you have like a, a good handle on it before you start putting it on miniatures but it's really very simple and it's something you can definitely do. That's it. If you're interested in checking out the rust tutorial there's the link for that there. It's how you can turn a really weathered piece of metal into something that that looks even more weathered with rust and it is as goof proof and as easy as this technique is. A special shout out to my Patreon patrons who have supported me and helped me make videos like these more often, more regularly. This is the second since I started my patron and I want to thank everyone who supported me. I also want to give a shout out to John Wong and his painted Howling Griffin. Thank you so much. If you want to help me make more videos like this as well, you can check out my Patreon page. I'm halfway to my goal of releasing a new video every week. I'm really excited to get there. So if you want to help me out, every dollar helps. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I will see you soon.